Hello, welcome to lesson 15. Um, in this lesson, we will be creating the final project for your certification. And this lesson is brought to you by the American Institute of Techniques and Management. Okay, great. Uh, first off, uh, we want to open our Excel file. As usual. And next off, um, what I want you to do is go to the lesson, I believe it was the 11 12, in which I asked you to create the data chart and you have all the data. Copy uh, the Q123 and the name category from the category one. That will be absolutely enough. And then uh, go on and create something like this. I won't be showing you how to do this because this is very basic. You should be um, you should be able to do it by yourself by now. It's very easy. Simply Control C, Control V, which is copy paste, and move it over here. If you see any um, segregation data or anything like that or conditional formatting, uh, you can remove the conditional formatting by clear rules and clear rules from, from selected cells or the entire sheet. I use the entire sheet option. So basically this is the data I picked from over there. As you can see, I have the Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 um, buy-in data and the names for the products. Great. Okay, as you might have noticed, some of the data is empty. And because we want to create an average data set for, for this area and we want it to be filled in, first off, what we will do, and please note that during this entire, um, this entire lesson, I will be creating a file for you, which then you have to create by yourself. So I won't be stopping at any time uh, to let you know that you're supposed to do this. This entire lesson is actually your exercise okay so you want to mark this data until the point where it shows an empty cell and then grab and as i showed you with your less left uh, mouse button and drop it until the end of the uh, the table in this column uh, you can see the data growing slowly uh, this increases the data because Excel calculates the average and adds in um, adds in the average from the previous cells to the um, down lower cells. So um, this isn't really good if if you want to uh, in insert some data that has a wide var variety. For example, over here you can see that I copied the same cell, but if you mark two of these, Excel counts an average and then calculates the data in, in the new cell. So if you want to if you want it to be um, to look very different, you want to have a variety of data or you want to use your own um, data set, that's fine. Uh, you don't have to use the data I provided. It's it's not important. What is important are the set of rules I will be showing you later on. And uh, of course, I've explained all of these before. So don't worry. At any time, you can simply go back to the lesson that we uh, that covers the topic and um, redo the part you might not understand. Okay, I'm trying to create a. Um, a data set that would be, we'll copy this data over here and maybe do some of this, copy it over here. Um, what we're doing right now is, is to allow us to use as, uh, as big of a variety of data as possible. So there won't be any, yes, great. So now we have a proper table. So first off, what we'll be doing, let's make it look a bit nicer. You know, you don't want to show raw data like this because if you go to file and print, 
and you see the data in the printing option you can see it's well naturally nice it's raw data you have the table because this was generated automatically but it's not really good what you first want to do is grab this and make it thicker so it looks better for for uh, marking the first line as the most important one and this is the most widely used option for the first line okay then let's mark the entire area just to be sure that uh, we have the entire border covered and again the big border yeah you should really use that for the last part now um, let's cover the first line and let's use a color just to make it different Let's use this one and let's use a different color for the name okay let's use let's say a green color okay great now what I want you to do is do some grouping well we'll group um, the data uh, depending on the name so basically we will use the Alice button button so as you probably remember that's how to do this just to show uh, one option so we are sure to see this group great next off let's use the anise syrup awesome let's hide this also next off is the boston crab meat also group this one find it and so on as we do with all of them and the last one is here and great so now we have basically one two three four five groups um, which we can see at any given moment and uh, if we want to work on any of these it will be fine the way it is okay next group oh sorry next group over here oh. yeah we gotta undo that yeah this wouldn't make any sense to group these because with a single column this would just vanish and it wouldn't uh, really look any any better okay next off let's use the filter option so we mark the area click the filter button and we have the filter at any given time um, it's mostly useful for the names because you can see that we have the same amount of names as if we had the amount of groups uh, so we want to start these from A to Z great and since they actually were already sorted out we don't have to worry about that anymore um, so let's go back to the printing options and see how it looks like right now great so right now we have uh, one and one quarter of a page with uh, quite proper data this could be basically used uh, by you uh, to, to show your boss your work so it's pretty nice next off let's maybe create a sum so we will be using the sum function uh, for this area Awesome, and now we write in in the top top line that we are doing a sum over there, and you actually can see Excel using the same format for this one as if it was the next one. And now uh, we want to pick this formula and grab it and drag it to the bottom. So basically grab it with your left mouse button as usual, let it go and see the magic happen. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's just check in a random part if the sum uh, was okay. Yeah, it's fine. Let's mark the 55th row so everything works properly. Great. And uh, now let's just make... Uh, proper borders okay great 
and we also want the um, we want the sort sorting filter to be everywhere. Okay. And we still have one more line because, as I explained previously, um, we have one more column. Sorry, as I explained previously in one of the lessons about printing this line, the the stretch line to the from from between G and H tells you that this actually is the printing area. So uh, just not to uh, waste any um, area, let's do an average. You use the shortcut AVG, uh, which will also be here. Great, let's mark the area. We obviously don't use the sum because this would just uh, screw up our entire our entire average uh, number. 